Dear students, welcome to lecture series of the electronic devices and theory. In last lecture, I discussed the basic special diodes types. First type is linear diode. I discuss basic characteristics, applications and construction techniques that are mostly used for zener diode and basic operation of the zener diode, how zener diode works. In this lecture, I will discuss second important type of the special purpose diodes that are used according to your applications. Different types of the application, different diodes are used. The second important type of the diode is Varactor diode. In this lecture, I will discuss first basic principle of the Varactor diode and basic symbol of the Varactor diode. I will also discuss the temperature effect on vector diode and finally we will discuss applications of the vector diodes that are very much important because if we don't know about the applications of the vector diodes or any other device then how we design, how we understand and why we understand the anything in engineering in medical. Okay. To understand anything effectively, you have to know about applications, where to use this device and how. Second question is how to use this device. Your first concern is to solve some problems. What are the problems? The problems are applications. Okay. So, vector diode, the basic principle of the vector diode is the special purpose diode that operate only in reverse wise and its capacitance is varying with increase in reverse bias voltage okay it means when reverse bias voltage increase then capacitance of the vector diode increase now let's discuss how we convert the pn junction diode into vector diode and what is capacitance and how pn junction diode is converted into capac varying capacitance diode okay this is this is basic diagram for vector diode Okay, P type and N type both act as a plates. Plate 1, plate 2. Okay, both act as a plates. As we know that when in previous lectures in circuit analysis, when we understand the basic concept of the capacitors, then we understand that capacitors is made up of plates okay and between the plates there is dielectric okay here between the plates p n junction or plates and between the plates there is depletion region here depletion region is act as a dielectric so this is can be converted into this diode okay this is converted into capacitors okay so that's why we called it a 
varying capacitor diode okay variable capacitor diode its capacitance is varied when reverse wise voltage is increased okay in previous lecture i explained in a very much easy and simple way that in forward bias in when we bias the diode in forward uh, forward bias then depletion region then width of the depletion region becomes small and in reverse bias when we apply the voltage reverse wise voltage to diode then depletion region then width of the depletion region becomes wide okay that is very much important concept you have to understand in this topic okay so now let's discuss why how capa how capacitance transition capacitance is varied with with change in the uh, reverse wise voltage okay so to understand this concept you have to remember for for your better understanding i convert it into the graph so that you can understand it very much effectively okay this is the basic graph this is capacitance capacitance in picofarad as you know that capacitance unit is farad and this is reverse bias voltage okay so the relation between the reverse bias voltage and capacitance is inverse what is meaning of the inverse relation meaning of the inverse relation is when reverse bias voltage of the varactor diode is increased then capacitance gets decreased and when capacitance gets increased then reverse bias voltage becomes reduced and gets it reduced the value of the reverse bias voltage becomes very much less okay so when reverse bias voltage increase depletion region size increase and capacitance reduce and becomes very much small you have to pick this point from here okay so this is the basic diagram means capacitance is inversely proportional to reverse bias voltage clear this is the basic concept now we will see the basic formula for transition capacitance so transition capacitance formula is permittivity multiplied by cross section area divided by width of the depletion region this is the formula in terms of the depletion region means this what this formula meaning what is the meaning of this formula and what this formula gives information when width is increased then transition capacitance gets reduced okay this is formula okay now how how to uh, implement the uh, uh, this formula in the form of the reverse bias voltage okay so transition capacitance in the form of the reverse bias voltage can be written in the form of this formula that is k is constant k is constant is also known as proportionality constant according to your semiconductor material okay for different semiconductor materials p type n type and doping of the semiconductor materials you have to use different types of the semiconductor materials according to your diode type okay k okay. now here is now here is vj plus vr whole ki power n what is vj vj is junction voltage junction voltage okay and vr what is vr is reverse bias voltage reverse biased voltage okay and what is the value of n that is very much important i have a question for you 
okay what are the basic two techniques basic two fabrication techniques that i discussed in last lecture you have to remember okay what are the you have to you have to revise the lecture and come leave the comment what are the two fabrication techniques for pn junction diode okay according to fabrication techniques value of the n is different for alloy fabrication technique value is different and for second technique is diffusion uh, function uh, method is different okay two different techniques okay so this is the basic formula now let's see what is the effect of the temperature on reacted diode as we discussed in last lecture for zero diode same procedure is here but little bit different little bit uh, different concept here okay effect of temperature Electro diode simply dump reverse capacitance transition capacitance is directly proportional to temperature. Okay, when temperature of the environment, when temperature of your room increased. When temperature of the diode increased, then the transition capacitance increased. The question is, what is the meaning of increasing in transition capacitance? Meaning of the transition capacitance is depletion region gets reduced. Okay, when depletion region gets reduced, what is the meaning of the depletion region uh, size reduction reverse bias voltage decrease so this is the interrelation between depletion region reverse bias voltage and capac and transition capacitance okay so when temperature increase transition capacitance increase transition capacitance increase depletion region de decrease depletion region decrease reverse bias voltage decrease that is a simple okay so here is simple formula for you to understand this when when reverse bias voltage increase then depletion region increased when depletion region increased then transition capacitance decreased okay this is simple so this is the basic concept now let's see what are the basic applications in our daily life of reactor diode why we design why we specifically design why we specifically construct the reactor diode the basic reason of designing in a special way is so that they can be used for different applications okay the first applications here we can applications applications the first application is it is used in frequency modulating receivers fm receivers used in fm fm receivers okay second important application of reactor diode is used in resonant circuits resonant circuits okay another important and uh, in daily life application is 
they can they are used in amplifiers amplifiers and they are also using televisions okay they are also using television okay these are the basic applications of vector diode this is this lecture is simplified solution about the vector diode everything is covered in this lecture if you have any question then leave the comment below and subscribe our channel if you want to learn new things if you want to learn more about different courses simple low level and advanced level courses of the electrical engineering okay next lecture man till then stay blessed stay inspired thanks for watching